Empty streets and empty stores are the new norm in Canada. With so many people off work because of COVID-19, the federal government expanding its efforts trying to help business owners fight the economic shock of the pandemic. Last week, we had announced that we would cover 10% of wages, but it's becoming clear that we need to do more, much more. So we're bringing that percentage up to 75% for qualifying businesses. A wage subsidy increase is the government's latest attempt to help keep businesses, business owners and the economy afloat. This means that people will continue to be paid even though their employer has had to slow down or stop its operations. The Bank of Canada also making another move, cutting its key interest rate to a quarter of a percent. The new measures can't come soon enough for Canadian businesses struggling to stay afloat. The government also recognizing the desperate situation many small businesses are facing. So to help you bridge to better times, we are launching the Canada Emergency Business Account. With this new measure, banks will soon offer $40,000 loans, which will be guaranteed by the government the feds also announced they will defer GST and HST payments, as well as duties and taxes on imports until June. All moves being welcomed by the business community. We're really pleased to see that's where they went to today. It's basically where many European countries have gone already. The announcements today follow the unveiling of the Canada Emergency Response Benefit earlier this week. That program can provide Canadians who are out of work $2,000 a month for up to four months. But Pullman says there's even more the government could be doing. Uh, but the other thing that we're still missing, I think, is there are some tax increases still coming. Uh, April 1st, we see carbon tax go up in a number of provinces across Canada. Uh, in, a, in British Columbia, for example, which has their own carbon tax, they've deferred their increase until later in the year. So we were hoping that there would be some deferral of that type of an increase. This week alone, the government has announced $202 billion in spending to help fight COVID-19. And the finance minister says he's not putting any caps on future spending. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.